Hello and welcome to Unzi Talks where I bring you one great book in two short minutes. And the book I'm talking about right now is Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King. And that's the author of Please Ignore Vera Dietz and several other books, but that's certainly a book that I have read before by her. And so two reasons why I would recommend this book book. Um, and it is a science fiction type of book. It requires um, a willing suspension of disbelief if you're going to read it. Um, but I'll get into that in a second. Two reasons why I would recommend it is its reflection of real life, believe it or not, even though it's science fiction. And in addition to that, its internal consistency. So the way that the author organizes this book is super interesting. Um, the main character actually has to exist with other versions of herself. That's right. So the main character's name is Sarah, I believe. Got to double check that. Okay. Um, and yes, <laughs> so Sarah has to deal with other versions of herself. Right now, she is 16 years old, um, but she also has to interact with the 11 year old version of herself. She also has to interact with the 24 year old version of herself and the 42 year old version of herself on a regular basis. Um, and she's like not losing her mind and it's not imaginary, so to speak. It actually really happens. Um, and I think it's such an interesting way of kind of just dealing with some of the problems that she's experienced now at 16 years old. She's this very gifted art student um, but unfortunately, her art teacher hates her, and um, her art teacher is more interested in being popular with other kids than she is with cultivating the talent of this young lady. And so she's tempted to drop out of school. There's a lot going on at home. Her parents definitely don't get along and haven't gotten along in a very long time. And you also get chapters from the mom's point of view as well in here, which I think is a really interesting addition in, in terms of like what you learn that you wouldn't have known through the other point of view. So that's why I think internal consistency is also a great value here because the author just painstakingly organizes this. So if it's something that you find interesting, add it to your TBR pile. And until next time.